Hi and welcome back to the workshop for another Work in Progress Wednesday. It's been a bit of a late night to get this last project finished off, but we've been working on this special commission, this woodlander, that's got some pretty exceptional materials in it. So we thought it would be a fantastic opportunity to you to see exactly what we can make here in the workshop. So this is one of our four inch woodlanders and we'll start off with the sheath to start with. So this is one of Lois's Orford Tan Sheaths and this has got some special green stitching on there. That was to match the green liners that we've got on both the fire steel and the knife itself. So that really does pop against that Orford Tan. And this is one of our Scandi Sheaths. So this has got a brass D-ring fitted to it and then one of our popper droppers as well to just make it a little bit easier to draw the knife when you're wearing it on your belt makes the knife itself hang a little bit lower than your belt line which makes it very comfortable and this particular one has actually got a integrated fire steel holder on there so this is enables you to hold a, an army fire steel this is one of the nine mil ones and this has got this same handle material and it was quite a nice project because the piece of material that I had on this one was some really nice exhibition grade desert ironwood and we were able to actually use a longer piece and save the off cut to make a matching fire steel as well so this is some pretty incredible grain in this this desert ironwood so exhibition grade often refers to if it's got more burr in it or if it's got more figuring in it so this has got a, basically a combination of the two. It's got some real nice burr and some high definition where you get this lovely black contrasting lines and swirly grain. So desert ironwood is a fantastically tough hard wearing material, naturally waterproof and durable. And this has got thick neon green liners on there as well that really pops. And this has got a blade made out, made out of four mil damask steel. So this is made by Damasteel Labs out in Sweden. These are the people that make Damasteel and they also make RWL34, which we use a lot in the, here in the workshop. A very high-end stainless steel. And this is a pattern that is actually called Gross Rosen, which basically refers to like big roses. So it's got these big rose type patterning in the actual blade itself. And the four mil stock makes a real beefy blade. So a very robust woodlander there. Obviously, because it's four mil stock, you get a much more accentuated bevel on there. The bevel looks like it's a little bit longer because it comes sort of higher up the blade. And this one's got our logo etched onto it. And then we've etched the damask steel to reveal that pattern. And what we've done as well is we've actually etched the tang as well. So once you finish shaping the handle, you can etch that damask steel to make that pattern show all the way through. So this has got small quarter inch loveless bolts on this one to hold it all in place. And then this one's actually got a left handed sheath on this one. So yeah, perfect for the, the south paws out there. But yeah, this was a really nice project. So this was a commissioned piece. So Gerald who actually commissioned this told me what style of knife he wanted. He also chose what damask steel pattern he wanted. And then he actually chose the handle material. So pretty much a total bespoke build. So yeah, really happy how that one came out. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing that special Woodlander and some of those special features. Certainly for me as a maker, it's a real pleasure to be able to make a special commission piece like that using some of those fancy pieces of material that you've been saving for that special job. So yeah, being able to use that amazing Dama steel and some of that exhibition grade desert ironwood, it's a real pleasure to be able to craft that into one of our Woodlander knives. So hopefully Gerald will enjoy using this knife and it should be an heirloom piece that he can pass down to his children as well. So yeah, thanks Gerald and thanks for you guys for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel and tune in next week for another Work in Progress Wednesday.